what is up Florida outdoors people what a beautiful day out isn't it we are heading out on to Lake Okeechobee see if we can't find some bass probably probably some crappie probably not gonna find the crappie but that's what I'm gonna try and do so I got a live well full of stuff uh, yeah I'm gonna head out on Lake Okeechobee Hope you guys are ready. Um, just want to say, as of right now, filming this video, we are at 49 subscribers, guys. I don't, can't tell you how, pre, how appreciative I am of you guys doing that for me. So, let's get it up to 50, guys. Let's keep going. Let's keep riding this train, see how far we can go. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. See ya. Something on. We got ourselves. Hey, what is that? A little Mayan cichlid. Huh. Where do you need these? Oh well, we'll find out in a second. I gotta clear this. Uh, we're going backwards because this um, wind is killing me right now, guys. I'm sorry for the wind noise. Probably help if I face this way a little bit. So. We'll see if we can't get uh, some more Mayan cichlids. I think you can eat these, so let's uh, see. All right, so little Mayan cichlid. I mean, it's an invasive species, so it's not like I can throw it back anyway. So I don't know. We'll do a, a catch, clean, and cook on it. Uh, I dropped it. So. See if we can't get something else, guys. I'm out here for crappie, but I'll take that. All right, guys, so as you can see, we are back at the uh, boat ramp, and uh, everyone has cleared out. <laughs> I'm the one and only car on here. Well, there's that guy over there, too. But, uh, yeah, everyone has cleared out. The weather sucks out uh, fishing so you know what we're just gonna make this catch clean cook of that mine cichlid you know me just taking down invasive species one fish at a time it's the florida outdoorsman way no um we'll see uh, i'm definitely gonna clean this one but i might also try and fish a little bit in the salt water when we get back to fort pierce so uh yeah we're just gonna play this by ear guys you know how we are we uh we don't make plans and when we do make plans they just don't work out at all so i will catch up with you guys in a bit i'll let you know what the plan is but uh yeah either the next video is going to be me cleaning that mine cichlid or it's going to be me catching a nice salt salt water fish so we'll see how it goes see you guys as you can see we are back in fort pierce we're gonna Try and do some bottom fishing here real quick at this pole. Figure it might be a little bit fun. See if we can't get some on the line. There we go. There we go. Something's fighting good. Whoo! Well, this might be a keeper, guys. Look at that lane snapper. Let's give him some line. Golf that piece of bait. Nice little snapper. Ooh, yep. And I'm demonetized. Great. And he is not big enough either. So, yep. Yeah, we got a bloody dying fish that I can't even keep. Ooh. He engulfed that bait, guys. Ugh. Just dropping, just dropping fish everywhere. There we go. He's uh probably not gonna make it, but yeah, we released the fish, so cool. Go us. All right, so we're gonna do another pass. We're just gonna go until we lose this bait, and then we're gonna go um, offshore. 
So let's let it drop down to the bottom. See if something don't want to bite. There we go. Oh, he dropped it and we lost our bait. All right, cool. So we're going offshore now, guys. <laughs> See ya. I got something on, guys. I didn't even think there was anything on. What? I got a shark. <laughs> oh. Look at that. I didn't even know there was anything on this. I just heard it go off. <laughs> I, I got to get down before I fall. All right. I would, I, you know, I was, I was turning around because there was a spot that I saw on the, on the thing, on the depth finder, and then all of a sudden it goes off. So let's uh, set you guys up right here. Ugh. Try and get this shark up. I didn't even think there was anything on. There was no fight. Cool, so there has to be something nearby. Oh. Yeah, I kind of want this bait back. We're going crazy right now, so we'll wait for somebody to stop throwing their temper tantrum. A little black tip. my feet out of the way trying not to get bit Whew. yep that was dumb of me here we go Whew. look at that sh little black tip shark guys Oh, I'm not kissing this one. Now that's a photo right there, guys. All right. We're gonna shut him, this down and uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a minute for the release. See ya. All right, guys, let's get him in the water and uh, Try and see if we can't find wherever that little uh, reef thing I saw was. And he's gone. Woo oh, he about came from my fingers. That one was close. Woo. <laughs> little black tip. Almost took out my fingers. That's awesome. <laughs> Fresh water, salt water, doesn't matter. We catch fish. Welcome to the Florida Outdoors channel, guys. Florida Outdoorsman channel, guys. Woo! All right, guys, so what's up? As you can see, we're back at the house. We've got our Mayan cichlid, and we are gonna play this guy up. Um, didn't get anything else after that shark, but hey, it happens. What are you gonna do? But we did get this beautiful fish. We're gonna see what we can get out of this. Uh, never tried Mayan cichlid before. Could be tasty, could not. I'll let you know. But uh, it's been a good day, guys. And I'm happy you came along for this adventure. So we're just gonna flay this guy up real quick. You guys know how it goes. Cut along this fin right here. Cut along the back, work your way down, flip it over, skin it out. Do the other side. I don't think you guys need me to show you how to flay a fish. I feel like you guys know it. So, with that being said, guys, I'm gonna catch you when this fish is done. Three, two, one. It's a magical knife. Fish just flay themselves with a wave of my knife. Probably shouldn't be waving my knife around, but, I am professional at this. I'm a professional fisherman. Or so I've been told. 
I don't see it. But we're gonna get to the cat to the cleaning part portion of this. I cannot talk today, guys. I don't know what is going on. It is bad. You should not make fun of me. So let's try that again. I will be doing the cooking portion of this video here in a little bit. So next you're gonna see next the cooking portion of the video. So catch up with you guys in a bit. See ya. Alright guys. So welcome to the cooking portion of this video. We're gonna be cooking up our lovely, lovely Mayan cichlid. I feel like doing a quick and easy recipe, so I'm just gonna do blackened fish tacos. Um, that way I can still taste kind of the gamey fish taste and it's not overpowering. So, you guys know how I typically do it. We're gonna get out a knife. We're gonna take our magic butter. And we're just gonna put a little bit of butter in. Just, just kind of as the base layer, just to kind of warm this, this up. All right. Next, we're going to get out our Everglades fish and chicken. Not sponsored, but everyone loves Everglades. So, get your fish out, put it down, give it a thorough covering on each side. All right, and with that, we're going to take our fish. We're just gonna lightly set it in there. Mm. Listen to that sizzle, guys. Sizzle, sizzle. Ooh, already smells amazing. All right, I will catch you guys with the final product. All right, guys, so as you can see, our fish taco is done. Cooked up very quickly. Um, yeah. Let's take a bite, see how it is, and I will let you guys know. I kind of make it more of a burrito than a taco, but who cares? Mm. Yep, it's pretty good. I'm gonna finish up this uh, taco burrito. Um, with that being said, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I wanna thank each and every one of you for tuning in. And remember, if you ain't wet, you ain't fishing in Florida. See you guys.